Welcome to Before the Council. Mark Linda, your host. I have City Councilor from Ward 3, Dennis and Eric. Dennis, we've Good done this before. Mark. Good we to have. see you. This is just it's like riding a bike. We never forget how to do it. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you come in. We have some councilors Thank that you. are on TV, and I think that's a good thing for government, I government do. so people know what's going on. I do. Um, other shows are quick and short. We got uh, what is it? Ward five and ten, and we have facts on four, and they're about fifteen minutes. You and I can talk two hours easy if I, we I, want to. I'd, I'd rather do I'd rather do it this way to be truthful. Okay, you. well, we got got <laughs> a half an hour, and uh, you have a ward meeting coming up to promote. Tell me date, time, place. I do um, because it's uh, you know it's something that I've always held in the last sixteen years. I've been you know the city council ward three, and the last um, year or so, as you know, I've been a little bit slow moving because I had hip surgery last fall, so. Uh, this is uh, going to be the first one that I've had for this year, 2019. Mm -hmm. I had one last summer, um, but then that's when I wasn't feeling well. So, unfortunately, um, it's time to have another one. I should have had one sooner, so my apologies. Well, you were on the mend. I'm you know, the you mend. had the hip surgery, am. and you had carpal tunnel, carpal tunnel on top yeah, of it. So, yeah. you know. I, I don't know. Someone says it's what happens when you, you, know, you grow older. And I said, no, it's just the way things are in life sometimes. So we go with them, right? Exactly. We know. But, yeah, I'm, I'm having a ward meeting this coming Wednesday evening, which is May 29th, at um, the Kennedy School in Ash Street. Right. And we're going to have it from 6.30 p.m. to 8 o'clock p.m., uh, have some guests that are going to be uh, attending. I've invited some people. Some weren't sure if they can, so I'm, I'm not mentioning all of everyone that's there. But we're also going to have um, Officer Bill Healy will be there for uh, talk of um, Crime Watch and how we want to really, um, you know, organize some others within my ward. I have a couple that are active, but we want to keep them active. Right. And we also want to educate some newer people on what Crime Watch is all about and how they handle it. You mm -hmm. know, they, they're just mistaking of how it, and what it's all about. Sure. So that, that's something that, um, you know, uh, he's been doing at some of the other ward meetings as well. And right. I think it'll be a, a great positive. So, again, this Wednesday evening, May 29th, 6.30 to 8 o'clock, uh, right at the Kennedy School on Ash Street. Um, come right in, and uh, we're also going to, uh, as you and I just spoke, we'll also have the... Uh, uh, your staff's going to be there to do some televising, which will yeah, be good yeah, as well. Yeah, we'll tel televise the other ward meetings, and I think it's good information. It's good for the government channel. We're getting ready I, for the marathon because exactly. we're going to have budget hearings that's coming right. up. That's right, right, and that's, and, that's, and that's where we'll go next because the following week it are the budget hearings. Right. And uh, just today I received a notification that the budget books were going to be delivered to the city councilors uh, by this evening or no later than tomorrow afternoon. Which is, which is nice. Um, I always try to do that as council president to get them as soon as we, we could. Uh, Councilor, uh, council President Rodriguez wanted to see that, that we got them even sooner, which is good. So every president does something different, but that's nice because now we have a week to look at them before we even have to start to ask some questions. I can ask questions along the course of the week, mm -hmm. making, making telephone calls. Telephone still does work. You yeah. know, I always tell people it's a... Still a great communication. Oh, you mean it's not like, just Facebook and yeah, Instagram and, and, right, and it, Snapchat it, it, and all that stuff? Exactly, yeah, 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 yeah Snap. <laughs> but you know what the Snapchat. problem is now? If you have a Comcast phone, yeah. you're not listed. You're not listed, I know. Okay, you used to have the good old Verizon, New England Telephone, right. AT&T, yeah. all no, of that, and there's no phone books. No. And if there are, it, the it, print is this big. No, it, you it, can't even see it. You can't. But um, in the budget this year, um, from what I've seen and just, uh, you know, heard, um, you know, talking briefly with the mayor and even, uh, as you know, we have a new CFO that prepared yes. the budget this, uh, this year in uh, Troy uh, Clarkson, uh, and he's done, a, um, he's done an excellent, excellent job. And so has in his uh, budget director that he has in there. Um, so I I'm very pleased with the appointment that we gave to him to take the place of Mr. Condon because you sat on that committee. I did. I, I did sit on that committee, and, yep. and it was a tough decision. It was mm -hmm. it was tough because you you had 16 candidates, but all had different variations of what they called finance. Right. And I don't call a real estate person financial. Right. You know what I mean? In right. Other you need areas. Someone with government experience. For exactly. Sure. So for sure. I mean he. He met the bill, and I, I think um, I think he'll do an outstanding job. You know, well, I'll, outstanding I'll tell job. you the first time ever for the library that we actually sat down with the CFO. That's great. And we sat down with the budget director, Paul Engel, as the director, and myself Super. as the chair. And I thought it was a great process. Yeah, okay, and, and, and I'll thank you and the other counselors for your strong support in the library. 
We, we're still working even more. We, we added hours at the branches. We want to do it. Well, and my dream is to get West Branch Mer done before Mer before my life ends yeah, at some point yeah, because yeah. I've been on the board for 20 years, 22 years, and I, I we've got to do that. We've got to get but that you know, branch that, done. And, and, that's, and that's a great positive because seeing people in those branches and even seeing our younger people coming into the branches right. means, uh, means an awful lot. I've gone to a couple different hearings, and, the, and they were held at the east side branch and when to go in there at six o'clock at night seven o'clock at night and to see people there you know what i mean just like i was like wow you know this is this is great how it used to be the meeting you know? rooms the story, story hours all the stuff and and exactly. you know since the since the west library is so close to brock and high right and to west middle school exactly okay walking distance basically mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. some of the kids um, and some kids don't have computers, Dennis. They, no, they, they go to a library, and there's a computer there. And after school, when school closes, we're open. Right. And right. we're open other hours. So we're, we've been itching it up every year, open another night, open. We double the hours at the branches. Nice. We still have a dream. Jocelyn, Meek, and myself want to have some Sunday hours. Yeah. yeah the only thing nice. I'm worried about is I don't want them to put them in and then take them out later on. Right, exactly. Okay, yeah. but we want people to use, I mean, it's a community center, yeah. if you really think about it. Now, now it is, yeah, and, you, and you're right, because a lot of a lot of your younger kids don't have the computers that some other people may have. Or books. Know, or books as well, exactly. Because books, are internet's exactly. replace books, and I don't know, I still don't think you can curl up with a good uh, Kindle. No. It's no. not the same. I'm a book guy and a newspaper guy. Although the price of the newspaper is out of the market. Yeah, they are a little Sunday bit. Sunday Globe is six bucks. Yeah, I know. I have to even say the Enterprise four dollars leaves me a little bit. Uh, but yeah. there's only a couple pages I look at in the Enterprise, yep. so I have to have it. I, I know, mean, I know I it's know. on. I know that's on Facebook too, but I I have to I still see it it's to make Facebook sure. It's on Facebook before it's in the paper. Paper, now. I know it. Yeah, God. So I so the budget process is going to be three nights. It's three Monday nights. the third, Tuesday the fourth, fourth, Wednesday the fifth. Right, and what we're doing, what is being done differently, is I believe the public hearing is going to be heard, if I'm not mistaken, on the third. It's going to be okay. it's going to be held prior to um, the start of the meeting at six o'clock, which. Okay. Is the way it should be done. Last year, and don't forget, last year we were traveling with Traveling Council. I know you so were. So we were in the War Memorial Building, and when I had said it, we didn't have enough ample time to uh, get the legal in the paper. Right. So this gives time, and it's going to be held then. We ended up holding it at the end of right, I remember. how we had it last year. But in any case, it's, it's June uh, 3, 4, and 5, and uh, everybody's received their schedule, and uh, it, it'll be, I, I, I think, It'll be a, a, a good budget. I don't think it's something you're going to be able to even still take money out of. Right. It's up. It's up. It's about 428 million. You know, mm -hmm. in comparison to the 405 million, you know, thereabouts of, of what we're working right now. And the school uh, department did very well this year. If, if anything, they did tremendous. To be truthful with you, yes. With new funding coming in, and they're still leaning on the formulation in hopes that there'll even be other money, you know, the change of the formulation. But their budget's up to $173 million, but no right. layoffs either. Right, no layoffs this no year layoffs. for the first time. Yeah, and no layoffs. we didn't get the sky has fallen budget right. like we've had in the e past. Exactly. And it should be smooth, get it exactly. get it done in three nights, and then from there it goes to right. to council or FinCom? FinCom it'll, go, it'll go FinCom. Then it goes to FinCom because then you do your final work there, and then from there it will get recommended to full council. Right. Yeah, that's how it works. And that'll be the last Monday in June. That, yeah, exactly. And then yeah. you guys go on summer schedule. Right. You'll go to finance that third Monday. Yeah. Okay. And then the last Monday in June, you, yeah. you do the you, you do your city council work, and that's will be approved. And then we'll be done for like three weeks, because then July it's the third and fourth Monday. Right. August third and fourth, but September. Remember last year we went back, we changed it. Is not a summer it's vacation not a summer month. month. Okay. We go right back. Good. Thank you for you letting know, me so, know. So you'll so skip the, you skip the first Monday because that's Labor Day. That's Labor Day. Be, so be held three on the, meetings. Yeah, whatever. And that oh. first Monday would be fi a finance Monday. Maybe. So, maybe. Yeah. Right. So it depends how we end up in August. To be okay. truthful with you. So, and as you know, you also have a a, a re-election year. So everybody's going to be busy anyways this summer. Yeah, that's starting up all, already, some, right? Some. Yeah. Yeah. It is starting you up. You have a there's a rematch in your ward. I, I I believe so. I believe you know, gentleman took his papers out again, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I'm I'll I'll do my as I've always said, I'll do my thing. I just keep out there and keep going and. Uh, I, I always say no one election is the same, so anything not. anything can be. Especially anything can after be. the 2016 presidential election, all and, the rules right. have changed. Rules. Every place, and 
you know, you see things like Cheney. Congressman Capuano out. Yep. Gone. Um, yep. Ayanna Presley uh, beat him. Beat him, um, yeah. It's the, the two, there's how many candidates running for president of the United States? Officially what on is paper. It, is it 20? Well, there's 25, 25 known people. People, yeah. I've heard there were 300. Yeah. Yeah. In no, New that, Hampshire, all you got to do is pay a filing fee and, and you're on and, the ballot. And that, that'll be an interesting race when it gets sure really will. going. Although, the sad feature is you have to contend with it until almost the end of, you know what I mean, 2020, right. where when we were younger, you didn't see presidential stuff happening until after the conventions opened right. up. Right. That was it. There was yeah. your season. Yeah. Not now. No. They start campaigning like this particular president did. The first day he was sworn in, yeah. he just kept going. And he kept we, going. I mean, we have, a, we you have, know, a so. three, we have at least a three-person mayoral race right now at right. the moment. Yeah, we um, do. You know, they've kicked off. Uh, they've all know, kicked mayor's off. kicked off. Uh, all three of them have all kicked have. off. And, who knows if that's it? Yeah, you never you know. Don't know. You, you never know. Your counselor at large looks like there are ten right now at the moment. I, I heard so that, that last night. So that means there's a preliminary, yes. and then you go down the different wards. Right. And some have contests, some don't. Uh, you, you'll have a couple of. Uh, well, you have um, Ward Five was an o will be an open seat because right. you know right. Council Borgard has already chosen to run for you know counselor at large. So yeah. um, I don't see any. I don't see any others at this particular time that I know of, anyways. But right. still. Um, and you know, you, you just don't know what can happen. There's, the papers went out earlier, but the yeah, deadline very early. Deadline is still in the same mix of I think it's that first right. week or second week, uh, right around end of July. Week. End of July, yeah. So, yeah. so I've talked to some candidates that have basically said, "Hey, yeah. we don't know who we're running against yet, right? Because yeah. someone literally, what is it's fifty signatures, right? right. Fifty for certified ev for certified. everybody, F everyone. That should so change. So that I, I, fifty certified. So they always like to have you come in with eighty-five, anyways, right. because you know you're going to get those right. that, uh, or they don't, and they shouldn't. Don't ex they don't accept the scribble." And I don't blame them. Oh, that yeah. that fifty is e still easier. I had to get a thousand when I ran for probate. It was yeah. crazy. But yeah. if it wasn't for my wife, oh, going, we went to twenty five out of twenty seven communities. It was really really hard. Yeah, it's and then tough. when I ran for rep, rep was this chopped up district. Right. And a couple of precincts in three and one right. and seven and Easton. Yeah. So uh, you'd go to the supermarket to get signatures. And where do you live? Yeah. And it's really really hard. It's, it's not easy it, it, to do that. In in those that. Run still, think it is easy, but let me tell you, it, it isn't easy, no, you know, no. and I've found out just in the last six months, people know that I'm home and I'm around and, oh, I didn't know you, oh, you don't work anymore, you know, I'm semi-retired, right. I do right. put in a couple of days when I'm needed, but but then again, I'm around much more and the phone rings much more. Oh, you're a counselor that answers the phone. Right. Okay, I, always I, have I always, been. You know, you, how many years total now? 38, it'll be 38 years. Then. Wow. 20 on school committee, 16 here. So, you know, and... Um, getting, and, to the, and, getting to the and 40 I'll, years. Uh, Mark, I'll be right up front with you. Um, I toyed after having this, after I had the surgery and even into the winter months, uh, do I, don't I, do I, don't I? And everybody uh, that I talked to says, why, why wouldn't you? Because, you know, we, we need you around and we need the experience. I don't agree with you all the time, counsel, but right. we need somebody that can at least... At least, not just me. There's some others too. But the way I look at it is like I'm on the library board. We have a nine-person board. We have three veteran members. Right. We have three members that are in between, and then we have three new ones. Right. And it works great. Good. It works great. Nine mm -hmm. is a good number. Right. You got eleven. Eleven. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. got the at-larges and the at-larges. Mm -hmm. uh, right. You know, I you're running citywide. That's right. you. You, That's you did you, that before. Yeah, I did that before. That right. was yeah. It's a lot easier in a ward. It, 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 it is, yeah, it is, really. But you get a lot more calls in a ward. Right, you, exactly I, do. I remember Councillor Studensky, the oh, yeah. father, yeah. saying, well, I could give you the ward councillor's number and he can help you <laughs> yeah. out. He helped yeah. people out, don't and, get me wrong. And, you know, and, and you still sometimes, even your, your lodges, you know, they jump ahead of you, but, but that's okay. But most of them that I've dealt with have always come back to me right. and have said, this person called, I'll handle if you want me to, if you've got something, and that's fine. I let that happen. I don't like it when other ward councilors jump into the ward. Right. You know, now if it's a s situation of some ward that's going to be a, a, you know, a big building or, 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 or a big big development of, you know, 750 homes or, or right. apartments, well, then I might have a say because that's a city issue. Right, I mean, and like the casino back in the day. Exactly. When you guys had the joint meeting between Council Cruz, Council Monahan, and yourself yeah, we, over at West Middle exactly. School. Exactly. You, 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 there right. are issues that are citywide issues. Exactly. But Two, the other ones... The ones that you can control yourself, 
I, 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 I like to have a tendency that I know I can control them. And there's, a, there's things in the war that I still want to, I still want more streets done. I still want, I'm still keeping my eye on the project up off West Chestnut Street. I was just going to ask you, I noticed they took the Denise and Erie sign yeah. down a while ago. Yeah, I, I know. I, I said maybe they should have left them. I've been the only thing they name after me, but still it was wrong. But, right. you know, but, um, and that's been in court and been heard, but nothing has come back yet. Mm -hmm. And I've already asked Attorney Nazarella, uh, he's going to do a um, um, check me out on that on Tuesday for me, so I'll have information for Wednesday night. But, you know, that went in court, I think it was February, first week of February, and the judge hasn't ruled yet. We right. put together a real good case, yeah. and he feels that our case is substantially standing firm, but he just, the judge just hasn't made a ruling. So, and no matter who, or however it comes out, you know, there's going to be an appeal. Of course, it's it's, it's going to it's going to be that way. So, um, but that still is, is on my agenda, and I watch that every single day. I can't control them dumping dirt on their property. People say right. they're digging, they're digging, they're dumping dirt. That's their property. Right. But they do that on purpose. Right. They do that Stir just things up a little absolutely. Bit, right? You know, make the mud look a little differently and the rocks look a little different. But, um, but with that, and um, and as you know. Um, just this year, and, and finally the audience came together on recreational marijuana. Correct. Um, and as you know, I have the two locations for the medical marijuana. Right. And, and in good health, and matter of fact, he'll be coming before the council Monday night because he's grandfathered. Right. And so is in Commonwealth Alternative when they open. They're going to be open within the next Which month or so. Which they did a beautiful, beautiful job, job with that, that building. building. i got to tell you something. If nice. We, I mean, it was... It, it was different nice things job. over the course of time, but yeah, it didn't no, look like that. No, it did okay. not look like that. No, I'm very happy with it and very pleased with with that. And as you know, um, host agreements have been made, and the process has begun with a lot of people, but, you know, you still got to go through the Cannabis Committee. you still got to go that direction. Right. They have to have hearings, and I think you, you there's a hearing. The old cable building across the street yep. at 4 Main Street. And, now, and I'm going to tell you something, and I'll, I'll put it on the record just so people know where I am. right. We don't need that right no, across the street. I don't, we I don't we have the homeless shelter and all the issues that go around that. You don't need, you don't need that. They're also talking some brew pubs and breweries, which no. which I think there needs to be some restaurants right, and stuff right. downtown. Right, right. That, that's right. But, but not with that being downtown can't be no the dumping ground for no, everything. You can't. Okay, you I'm cannot. I'm concerned about it because we have issues right now. We deal with volunteers. Yeah. If people don't feel safe coming in this building, that's right. They're not going to come. No. And they're yeah. not going to or they're not going to want to even work here. And I, and I wholeheartedly ag agree with you on that one. There. And didn't I just read where they postponed the hearing? Did they not postpone? No, it? not that one. It's the one that was uh, going to be at the East Branch Library, which nobody knew about. Oh, okay. No, the Four Main Street is on the thirtieth. It the is best on the thirtieth. Yeah, okay. Over at the VFW, yeah. and uh, okay, I'm going to go there. Yeah, you, uh, you need I'm to. Not, yeah. I'm not opposed to the, the no. recreational marijuana, but no, there are but already enough people driving around right now, and it's it exactly. may be legal, but they're. Impaired, exactly. exactly. And you know, I don't want someone to kill some kid on the and streets of Brockton or a grandmother oh, I'm, I'm, or, I agree or with something you else, because there's nothing to measure no, I, I like agree. alcohol. There's right. no breathalyzer to, men to, to, I, to measure that. I think the only concern I had is I, I think the 500 feet footage was, was yeah. what was the correct way to go. Not 750, not a thousand. You know, what I mean, I know a couple of councils want to go a little bit high. I, I mean, I think that was the correct thing to do was leave it at the 500 to right. be truthful with Churches you. and schools. There's a church in that building right. over there. Yes. There's so churches every place yeah, in Rockland we do. now, as yeah. you know. But, but there's a dental practice. There's a church. I, not, I'm not opposed to the man making money yeah. on his property, right. but wrong yeah. thing to put there. And Just, you know, the interesting fact was these people are already jumping, and, and yet you haven't even really been through the process with the Cannabis Committee, and they may say no to it anyways. Right, right. Because that's, that's where, that's the important piece right there. Right. What they say to come back, yeah. which comes before the council. Now, I was not too you know, much in favor of the fact that I would be sitting down to review all these. I, I think it should have still went through the License Commission. That's my own personal opinion. Yeah, that but, makes sense. You know, it, to me, that's what made sense. Um, I think some people want a little bit more control just to see, well, is Mark Lindy, is he really going to something? Who's he, is he, uh, he going to give somebody a check because... He's up for re-election next time. That type of stuff, and well, I. The marijuana business is a cash business. It is. It's, it, it's you a, can't write checks. You can't it's bank. A flow. No. There's all sorts of stuff. So, you know, you and I both know OCPF is pretty strict on contributions oh. and stuff. But uh, if the cash is flowing, who no, knows? Who knows exactly? Okay. No, exactly. I I just want it to be a real process. Downtown has struggled for years. Long time. And downtown, if you want to attract people here. 
you know, like they, I saw that presentation on 19 Main Street and yes. what they want to do with 19 Main Street. 19 yeah. Main Street has been vacant as long as long we've time. been in this building and longer than that. Um, you know, if they can put some millennials in there that don't have cars, that want to take the train, great. That's right. They also have something around for them to go to. Right. The restaurants and things like that. So, um, the, right. the, 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 now, the public safety complex, there's been a big talk about that yes. in the council recently. Right. And a little bit of an argument over money and resources. And you kind of broke it a compromise, um, I understand? We, we, did, we did break a compromise. When we, when we first heard it, and that was... First chair, believe it, as you know, through the mayor's State of the City Address, mm -hmm. okay? And he also mentioned how he was going to give $550,000 to the school department for other technology. Right. This is all money that's left from snow removal. Right. Use the other 250000 to do a study in regards to public safety building, police, fire, combination, or buildings on one, one lot. Councils didn't. You know, it was a tie vote, five to five, and mm -hmm. they didn't want to go that that route because they just argued it that you know this isn't right. We need more money for schools. We need that, and and I could see their point. I did vote for the two hundred fifty thousand, and I'll tell you why I did. I think we need a public safety building. Show me something is what I ask people. No, they tell me about land, pieces of land, but we have no commitment to these lands. You go to any Show other me. community around Brockton, yeah. and there are new police stations, there's new fire stations. Exactly. Um, some towns are fortunate, like Foxborough, to get right. the Patriots to pay for right. it. Exactly. We don't have that. No, we don't. But And we also don't have the land. I mean, the best property right. for it right. is gone, the Vincente's it, property. Uh, and, and, and I reminded my fellow counsel, who served as mayor, that when he was mayor of Fowl, that's where he wanted to have one located, was right there. Cleaning that neighborhood up. He felt it was the most centralized place, a nice, a nice combination yeah. of both. And I totally, I totally agree with him back then. We, I was on the school committee, he was mayor, and I totally agree with him. I mean, it, it's something that we yeah. need. That was back in, what, 20 something years ago. And then that building sat dormant for close to How long? 20 years. Yeah. I worked there when it was the AP and, and before I just it was think, the start. I just think that it was, it's an embarrassment to our community and to people that come in, especially new developers coming in and do it. And we have some new developers coming sure. in. We have development going on. The, the mayor is right. I give, him some, I, I give him the credit. You know, construction is moving ahead in the city. And, mm -hmm. and uh, so in any case, what we did at the last meeting, further conversation, even with Mr. May, um, we took his numbers and I said, let's hold them off to the side. And I right. said, right now, let's get started somewhere. And I made a compromise and... and uh, um, uh, Council Sullivan seconded that we put forth $100,000 to, to get this thing started. Bring us back. Bring me right. not just plans. Show me what a building will look like somewhere on right. two pieces of land you think we could even you know, strike cord with. And that's, what, and that's what they did. And you've got yeah. to have the police and fire warning to be in the same it, place, it, too. Exactly. I'm not, is, is that, yeah, you know, is you that have to do have they to, want to be? Right. You know, do I you mean, know? Well, I, I know, I, I think... You know, police want to be, and then the fire may want to be somewhere, could be somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, and I don't blame Chief Williams for thinking that because naturally he'd be out of the building on Pleasant Street, so he thinks of his distance, you know what I'm saying? Right. But maybe we can still have a building there, and then maybe there'd be some funds where you'd be able to build a newer building somewhere to replace an older building. Right. I mean, it's an embarrassment to, to, the, to the men and women that work for us. In those in those departments, it is. I saw the story that was done in the paper yeah. recently, and, 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 and you I, just go. You've been in there. I've been in there. And I think, and I, th and I said that the other night. Paint on, but nineteen seventy. I, I, I said that was a great story. I, I commend the enterprise for that story because they showed you a mess here and lights and and ceiling tiles that and IT everything. IT room that I we mean, saw. You, you you handcuffed the 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 uh, you know the arrestees to a bar. Okay, I know you arrested them. Uh, all right, they they're classified as inmates at that point in time. Right. But is that how you treat them? Right. Put them right. in a room. Put two officers in there. That's what you do. No, you, and then you have to send some down to Plymouth County to the right. to the Detention center. Right. correctional facility right. and keep them there. They're not handcuffed to a bar. Right. They're in, you know what I mean? They're in a room. But anyhow. So um, we get five minutes, just so you know. Okay. I have a stupid question. Would, could they put a public safety complex over in the former Shaw's Plaza or over on could. the south side of town? Could, could they do it? Or are they looking could. for central? They're trying I, to go central. I think central. they're trying to... I think, Mark, what they want to try is stay around more in the central part is what they're trying to do. You know, I mean, they, there is a big, you know, the big pieces, the CX, I always get CSX, CSX right, right, you know. But but then again, what's there? You know, when you start digging is you've got to be concerned about 
You know what I mean? What's there? Um, My the personal Kevlar opinion puts Mainspring there. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know how big they need a parcel, but put the police station right. where Mainspring <laughs> where, is. Yeah, exactly. That would yeah. clean things up quite yeah. a bit. Quite a bit, yeah. So, and these are things we need to talk about as well. You know, um, you know, Rob May did, did his, his job and, and he, he put out a 500-page document regarding it. So that turned a few counselors like, you know, in my own personal opinion, I, I don't sit down and read a 500-page document. Where's the executive document. summary for that one? You know what I mean? Maybe 25 pages yeah. or something like that. Give me that. a synopsis, I'm, I'm fine. But 500, I can't, uh, you know. Right. But in any case, at least we got a start. When the 100,000 um, counselors are supporting that, then the mayor even in the newspaper was very pleased that, hey, at least we're moving and I can get going on something. And he's going to include public. Public wants to be involved. Of course we're going to include public. Right. The best thing to do is get people that don't sit around me every day, you every day, school right. committee every day, uh, in city hall every day. Get different people. Absolutely. Get different. Get, That's get, what get, I'd be doing. Mm -hmm. Here's my team. This is what your team. Get out there. You got 25 years. I want something back in like 90 days. Mm -hmm. Show me what we're going to start doing. That's what he needs to do. And I think and I think he'll do that. At least it gets things going. You know. So that being said. Um, we can go back and say Tuesday night. Yeah. May 20, to, excuse me, Wednesday, Wednesday night. night. Tuesday night, City Council. City Council, right. Right, right after night. Memorial Day. That's right. Wednesday, Wednesday night. night, May 29th, 630 to 8 o'clock p.m. at uh, the John F. Kennedy School's Award 3 meeting. So I invite uh, my constituents. Uh, all meetings are open to the public as well. Um, I'm In sure there'll be all. Bordering wards. Yeah. Ward 4, we'll hear, Ward to, to everything. We'll hear, yeah. I'm sure there'll be some people who'll probably come as much as that ordinance is going away. The, the Sanctuary City one will be pushed to a, you know, a third reading, but I'm sure there'll be some that'll want to know. Right. And, and they will have this say, um, which I don't support at all. And I know I got loads of phone calls and people stop me about about that. That you know. I tell you, that hearing was tough. We covered that hearing and there was a little yeah. rowdiness out in the crowd. It was kind of scary, yeah, actually. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, you know, calling, uh, yeah. you know, Counselor Derogatory, derogatory names right. and you yeah. and I were sitting in that room. Exactly. And, and yeah. you know, yeah. um, it, yeah, it was it, tough. It, it's tough. And, you know, because Brockton really is always and has always been a welcoming city. Everybody's right. always been. got along. If you think about it every culture been. that's come here and, right. you know, the, the newer folks are no different. They want a good education, a good job. And, 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 and you know, what I, what I say is, is if you even took a survey, you'd find that 35 to 45 percent of your minorities that have been in Brockton for 35, 40 years don't even want it either. You know what I mean? That's the issue there. You know what I mean? They see how it's happening. Um, and they just don't want to be caught. It'll always be called that no matter how you write it. Right. Wh whatever piece you take out and say, now we'll make, let's make a process. Well, what process? What process are you going to so make? So what is it on second reading for Tuesday? It'll go, it'll be, it'll be read and then, which they call, you'll call it referred to um, for a third reading, which won't come back now till the end of June. Right, because after, after the budget. Right, exactly, so, but so look, Will, I'm glad to help you promote yes, the meeting. And thank you. Thanks for giving us some good information I on it. city issues. And Anytime. We'll See you Wednesday we'll, night. We'll do it again. Okay. Thank Always you. a pleasure, Mark. Same here. Thank Same you. Here. Appreciate it very much. You're watching Before the Council, the show about the uh, Brockton City Council and issues coming before it. Uh, make sure you watch all the uh, meetings uh, live. We have them on uh, Channel 9, 12, and 98. Having a few problems with Channel 12 that we're trying to work out, but we also have them on YouTube, the Brockton channels. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us, and thanks to my staff and crew for helping do this. Show. <laughs>